in example 2 that rupees 2400 becomes rupees 2976 in 3 years at certain rate of interest that means here the rate of interest is not given so we have to find out the rate of interest on this part now they are asking that with the same rate of interest we have to find out the principal when the amount is given that is rupees 5016 the time is given 4 years so this question is divided into two parts so first we, what we will do we will take out the rate of interest from first part in which the principal is given rupees 2400 amount is given that is rupees 2976 time is given 3 years and we have to find out the rate so as the principal amount is given so we can find out interest from that one that is amount minus principal so 2976 minus 2400 so the answer will be 5766 which will be a interest okay now we got the interest so we can put down that one into formula of interest from where we will take out the formula of rate that is interest into 100 upon principal into time so which will become 576 into 100 upon principal is 2400 and the time is 3 so when we will solve this one out so we will get the rate that is 8% so like this we will cancel out ok so we will cancel out the 576 by 3 so now that we will get 8% now we got the rate of percent now we will put that rate percent into second part where the amount is given that is 5016 time is given 4 years and now we got the rate that is 8% ok so the formula of amount is equals to principal and 1 rate into time upon 100 so don't solve this one as directly so we have to solve it as a fraction this one a separate fraction this one is separate fraction so we have to solve it with a fractional addition okay so the amount is given 5016 the principal we have to find out don't put down this one as a principal over here because this is the principal of first part now the concept is being changed the rate is 8 time is 4 that is 100 so we can say 5016 is equals to p that is 100 we will take out the lcm the 100 plus 8 into 4 32 now this 100 will go in the multiplication with the 5016 and 132 will come on the downside so when we will solve this one out so we will get the answer that is rupees 3800 you can do it like you can multiply the numerator then divide it by numerator you will get the answer that is rupees 3800